Hey guys, Jimmy here. Uh, today we are at Suzuka uh, in the Daytona prototype, the Riley, as it's uh, all always known. Um, this is a series that I'm going to be running for the next couple of days, just because it's Class C and I want to get some Class C racing under my belt. Um, so far, you know, I'm enjoying the Riley. It's a nice change from um, the solstice got a bit of power and I've got a bit of downfall so we can actually go into corners without the back end going out all the time. Although saying that of course this car is fairly powerful so you do have to be careful when coming onto the power. The solstice isn't too bad for that. Um, yeah so far I've done about half an hour's practice around this track. Um, Suzuka is a track that I'm familiar with through various games so I know the layout already but it's always different when you're learning a new car in it. You know, you're still kind of getting used to lines and where to brake and the kind of what, what, where, the, where the car's power is and you know, what, what, you, what you can and can't do. Um, I've learned so far that um, uploading videos kills my uh, <laughs> my ping, my latency. So uh, none of that. While I'm doing this. Just the racing. Uh, this class, this is a Grand Am series. If I didn't say so already, I don't think I did. Uh, which consists of the Riley prototype and the uh, the McLaren, I forget the full name, I think it's the MP12, that might be the name of it, a GT3 car, uh, which makes a good multi-class racing, it is my favourite type of racing multi-class, I mean it can bite you as I'll probably show you at some point, I've got a replay of where I lost the lead due to, uh, let's say, um, traffic getting in the way, and um, that was quite frustrating. Uh, 130R here is the corner that I've not really got down yet in this car. You can't really take it in fifth. Four seems a bit too slow. I'm still trying to find the medium. Um, for anyone wondering, I'm literally just running the medium downforce setup that you get from the iRacing. I haven't changed anything yet because I don't really know what to do with it. <laughs> and um, yeah, let's have a go at a flying lap. We've got a car coming out in front of us slowly. Hopefully they'll see us coming and get out of our way. Right. Down to fourth, break. Down to third, down to second. Aim for that inside kerb. Slow power on this car. There you go. Don't quite have enough from shift up to third, so we'll keep it in second and roll around. Got to try and keep momentum through this, as it's the most challenging part of the track by far. You always want to break later for this corner than you do. I always let off a little bit so I can get right on the inside because there's a good exit and a good entry to this corner up here where you power off. So the guy in front of us went off, which will get on. Oh no, he's still on track, so I was looking at the uh, big puff of gravel. A good lap so far. Nothing's gone too wrong yet. There might possibly be a thirsty corner through there. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll have to experiment some more. So yeah, this lap isn't anywhere near optimised yet. It's just kind of getting used to the track. I mean, the first race I'll do probably will be off screen, and I'll probably just, um, you know, just aim to finish. These races are longer, 50 minute races around here, so a lot more to go wrong. There's no point going into that kind of race unprepared. Bit of lag there, but it's going in a straight line so it's not too much of a bother. I'm very much enjoying the grip this car has to offer. Right, I'm going to try it. Break downshift into fourth. And around this corner. That seems to work better. First get into here. This car has an awful tendency to slide out of here. So we'll upshift early into second. And come across the line to see our lap time. 156.0 is my best lap time so far. Let's see what this is. 157 is uh, not too great. So that's the kind of stuff that can ruin your race in the actual um, race. If you go around that corner too quickly and you just plough through that guy, which a lot of people would do, you know, it's, it's dangerous. You've got to take heed of the warnings and go from there. Nah. Well, this lap isn't going to be quick, so I'm just going to roll around the rest of the lap and go for a couple more things. Um, I do hope to be bringing you some GT Challenge series as well from the Ford GT. Unfortunately I don't own the track they're at now so I can't do it. Uh, next week however I think they're at Suzuka 
um, so I can do that race there. Um, I have driven the 4GT quite a bit, very fun car to drive, I agree with it immensely. Um, it got to the point where I was getting very consistent with it. I was at a hosted session at Watkins Glen. Um, the oh, I forget what the track layout is called, but it's the shorter one. This is the one that the Solstice is in the uh, MX-5 race at. And uh, I was getting, you know, mid 112s, and I was hitting that time for about, you know, about 13 laps in a row. You know, 12.6, 12.7, 12.4. You know, so getting consistent, which is what is, you know, that, what's important in eye racing. Um, so hopefully I'll have a decent shot doing well there. Um, also with Riley's, I mean, like I said, I mean, I'm enjoying these a lot. So hopefully when it comes down to race, I won't be too far off the pace. Yeah, I think fourth and down just working through there. Oh, getting a bit wide. I thought I was going to roll it around, but I didn't. Typical. Ah, I just didn't break enough there. So that's it for now, guys. Hopefully, I'll bring you a race, um, a race soon. It will, be, it will be of this. It won't be anywhere else because this is the only like C class that I can race in at the moment. And um, yeah, again, if you have any questions or if you want to, you want to race with me, if you do, if you do have the correct requirements and you're in this league. Uh, that we're in this series, sorry, then uh, drop me a message. Uh, Jimmy Broadbent, as you can see in the uh, bottom right, just add me as a friend, give me a message, and we'll, we'll have a race. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.